Guys, can I ask you a question about Islam? So uh, I came across a hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, so it's Sahih 3399, where the Prophet said, were it not for Bani Israel, meat would not decay. Okay. Right, so in other words, if it weren't for the Jews, meat yeah. wouldn't we're decay. We're no, we, 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 it's all right, I'll put it to you. Yeah, so don't worry about being recorded, like we can blow your face. So, so explain to me, how, how do Jews cause meat to decay? You go, go, someone smarter than me, bro. I don't know. Who would you like me to talk to? Oh, Tejan, man. Can I, can I Bring him. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, absolutely. So here it says, Sahih al Bukhari 3399. The Prophet said, Were it not for Bani Israel, meat would decay. There's the Arabic. Will you go to the Graden? The reference is here. Yeah, but Graden, because it's nerd. You Sahih. Know, you know, uh, Hadith science, it's nerd. Yes. Uh, really? well, Sahih. What do you know what Sahih is? Of course I know Sahih. Right, but so Sahih. Sahih. Where is Sahih? There, look, Sahih al Bukhari 3399. Okay, but the hadith science is snared. Do you know what snared is? Yes, I know what snared is. It's the, the list of chain of narrators okay. that goes back to either you, one of the companies. Do you understand hadith science how there could be a chain, a connected chain, yes. but it could still be weak? Right, but it's but that's not how you decide what Sahih No, no, but you understand how it could be like that. Right, which is not my question. This is Sahih. Okay. Right, it's Sahih, it literally, look. Do you know who Imam Bukhari is? Yes, I know Imam Bukhari. Do you know who his, what his collection is? Yes, I hear Bukhari. Right, yes. right. But so this is from, I've just the... given it to you, 3399 in Sahih al Bukhari. There's no graded. There's no graded. Literally graded Sahih. That's the reference. It's in the Sahih collection. That's is it in a Sahih collection? That's the reference. That's the, that's so the what, what are you saying? Are you saying that Sahih's collection, which he graded Sahih, is no longer Sahih? That's the name, that's the name of the book. But we need to see the grade. The way right. it says grade, colon, Sahih. Uh, or, uh, and then I'll take it. Okay, well, whatever the grade is, right, it's in Sahi, it's in the Sahi collection, so it's Bukhari Sahi collection. Right, what did in Sahi's Bukhari collection, what grades did he put in there? Yeah, Sahih Bukhari is Sahih. Right, but, there you go. Uh, You've just answered your own question then. I don't answer my own question because Hadith science, there could be uh, uh, unconnected snared. The snare could be there or the narrators could be weak. So you think, so you think Imam Bukhari could be wrong? No, I never said that. Right. So let, let's they just... Let, what's your name, bro? Louis. Sorry? Louis, Louis. Louis, okay. Yeah, nice right, Bob. And yours? Omar. Omar, right. So, so let me ask you this question, right? Let, let's do this logically, no, step logically. by step. What hadiths did Imam Bukhari put in his Sahih collection? Grades were they according to Imam Bukhari? Yes. The hadiths are Sahih. Okay, brother, wait, wait. Right. It's the authentic hadith. It's, a, it's a, a true hadith. Yeah. And I can't explain it. Do right. you believe in the Bible? Yes. So in the Bible. Wait, 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 wait. Why, why are we trying to change this? Because topic? I don't know how to answer this. But I can give you the yeah, same thing. Wait, 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 wait. Just think about it. Like, what logical explanation could there be yeah. to say that because of the Israelites, meat decays? I don't know. That's the honest answer. But I, mean, I can give you the same. Logic. I can give you the same logic with your Bible, and you can't answer it. So, well, go, go on. Ask, ask oh, the so question. You believe in the Bible. Do you believe Jesus? I'm is a Christian. God? Do you believe Jesus is God? Yes. Okay. So can God know and not know at we'll the do same a question. time? We'll do a question for question. All right. I'll right. give you a question. Can God know and not know at the same time? God cannot know and not know at the same. At the same time, right? One second. You've asked a question, so now I'm going to return and ask you a question. No, right? no, no, you didn't answer my question. No, I did. You asked a question, and I literally answered it. Yes, I did. I said God, God cannot know and not know. Okay, so God knows. Right, one second. One second. No, no. One second. No, we're doing question for question. No, we're not changing the topic. One second. We're doing. We're not doing. We're not changing the topic. That was part of the, that was Literally, part of I'm only agreeing to question to question. That was part of my question. You've asked a question, now I will ask you a question. I haven't, I haven't finished my question. No, no, I want I to ask you a question. But I haven't finished my question. Answer me this then. Answer me this. Question. Right? I'm not done, mate. I'm not done. In, in Sahih al Bukhari. No, you asked, we're doing question for question. Wait, wait, you asked me a question. My question. You I did. Haven't. You no, asked, we're going to do one no, question wait, 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 and wait. one question. So in the Bible, you, yeah. couldn't, no, you couldn't answer my first question. Answer this one. According to the hadiths, it says, you will fight against the Jews and you will gain victory over them. The stones will be saying, O slave of Allah, there is a Jew hiding behind me, so kill him. 
Kratos. Right. Okay. Now, this hadith is about the end time prophecy, yeah. isn't it? Right. It's about the end of days. When the judge will be found. And, it, and, it, and it's fair to say that we don't know when the end of days is going to happen, do we? Yeah. Right. Which means that you as Muslims have to be ready to fulfill this verse at any given moment, don't you? Uh, right. You're giving, you're giving your own. Like, no, he, he said yes. That's what who, he said. Who, who is he compared to, you know, scholars? Like, well, well, go, go get, go get, brother, go brother, get brother, Muhammad Ijab. Like, like, wait, 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 you don't know the answer. I want to ask you a question. Right, you don't want, you don't know what. Listen, listen, I want to ask you a question. We're going to do, we're going to do, we're going to do questions for questions. Not for the sake of argument. I don't want to argue. What's your name again? Omar. Omar. I don't want to argue with you. I just want to ask you a question and that's it. Right, I want to see if you can answer it. Omar, Omar. I don't know much about Islam and Hadith. Oh, but, okay, that is fine. So, we'll do that but I'm only agreeing to question for question yeah. Yeah. so when I'm asking a question and well, you, you don't understand I haven't finished my question like, uh, I haven't finished you no you did one question learn English grammar if you stick a question mark Bravo. on the end of something you've asked a question Bravo. so Listen. Omar stop trying to dominate okay. we'll have I will answer your question I'm saying yes okay. I will and, answer and your, your question. question I don't know the answer to so it's my you, what, what was the question I was gonna ask I don't know but you, so you, well, this hadith, Omar, I don't know it, so Omar, I don't listen, know it. listen. You, 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 you're not listening enough because you did answer my question. You said that as a Muslim, because of this hadith, you have to be willing to fulfill it at any given moment. Okay. Okay. Right? okay. I don't want to answer right. You did answer my question, so now you can ask a question. What's your question? God cannot know and know, and know at the same time. Correct. Yeah, no, wait, finish so, asking my question about morality. Yeah? Morality. Because you were talking about morality. Yeah? Brother, I want to ask you so, a question about morality. So, how did Jesus not know the hour that yeah. the Father did? Are they not the same God? Okay, so let me ask that question. So the, 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 I'm going to give you a proper answer, right? It will benefit you if you listen to the answer that I'm going to give. Okay. Okay. So as Christians, we believe that Christ didn't grasp at equality with God, but emptied himself to take on the form of a servant. He took to himself a human nature. And that human nature was just like ours. Right. And as you know, human nature is limited in its knowledge, but all knowledge is the possession of the divine. So God owns and possesses all knowledge yeah right so jesus does state that no one knows the hour not the father not the son but uh, uh sorry no no one knows the hour no the angels nor the son but the father only so when he's saying to him when he's saying that he does not know the 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 knowledge about the hour he's speaking because of the limits of his human nature not because of any limit on his divine nature. So, 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 so you, you said, aren't they the same God? So with the same I'm, I'm, I'm answering your question. Yeah. You said, because I'm answering your question in its totality, because yeah. you put on a clarifying statement, you said, aren't they the same God? Yeah. They are the same divinity, yes. The term God there in that sentence in the Christian religion is referring to divinity and all of its attributes. So Christ possesses that knowledge. So why did he lie? And no, say one, one second, one second. I'm answering your first question and then I'm asking so you a he question. Lied then. No. He knew it, but no. He said he all right, right. I'll just go on to my question if you don't listen to this answer. I'm answering your question well, you in its fullness. I'm answering this question in its fullness, right? So the divinity that Christ has possesses the knowledge, but the humanity does not have access to that knowledge. Let me give you an example that clarifies it. Doesn't make sense. You, Doesn't make sense. This is why I'm giving you an example to clarify it. Okay. Right? You're a human being. Yep. I'll give you an example of where you possess knowledge, but then don't have awareness of it. Okay. Right? Have you ever been in a situation where you put your keys down? Right? When? Right? So, so, so. You, have you ever been in a situation where you've put something down? You've forgotten where you put it, but you wanted it, and then you remember later where you put it and you retrieve it. Oh yeah, of course, that's good to forget right. it. Right, God so one second, forget, one second, God is impossible one second, one forget. second, one second, so it's different. one second. So I have now demonstrated... You're not you're listening, Omar. You're not listening, Omar. So I have now demonstrated to you that it is possible for someone to have knowledge yeah. without access to knowledge. Okay. Right? Yeah. And that's what happens when Jesus says... But your example right. is me forgetting now, something. God now let me forget. ask you a question. Brother, does God forget? No, no, no. Don't yeah, let him run away. Does God forget? Don't let him run away. Their Jewish conception, the Jewish God does forget. 
These guys are Christian. Tanakh. Right. I'm right. a Christian. Okay, but in the Old Testament, are you Muslim, I can't forget, I'm not Muslim. I'm right. So, so let me ask you a question about hadith. Yeah. Okay. So this brother has admitted that a, a Muslim has to be ready to fulfill this hadith at any given moment because you don't know when the end times will come. Yeah. And the hadith is that you will fight against the Jews and you will gain victory over them. The stones will be saying, O slave of Allah, there is a Jew hiding behind me, so come and kill him. So are you telling me that you're ready to kill a Jew at a moment's notice? You can't ask you know, I'm, 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 kill a Jew. I'm a steel man of Muslims. Me, kill so you wouldn't fulfill this? Bob, you know, well, we're, we're not okay, war, I'm a steel man of Muslims, okay? I'm going to try, okay? okay? Let's see, you might be able to break it down, okay? Yeah. I'm a steel man. Are you a Sunni Muslim, Ahmadiyya Muslim, Shia Muslim? I'm a steel man, I'm steel manning. I'm, Are I'm, you Ahmadiyya, no, Sunni? I'm, I'm, I'm not Muslim. I'm not Muslim. You're not Muslim. I'm, I'm Hindu, right? Oh, okay. I'm a stepping in steel man the Muslims, okay? Right, right okay. sorry, I thought you were a Muslim. I thought that's what you said yeah, to him. My apologies, I didn't hear you. I'm a steel man them, okay? So, within that concept of the Day of Judgment, on the Day of Judgment, all of these inanimate objects are yep. going to be able to talk. You know, the rocks yep. are going to start talking. Your hands science, are going to start talking. Science, so right, all, all of this, you know, that's going to start talking, right? Okay. So, uh, of course, I get you. I, I'm going to argue. Okay. I'm putting on the Sunni Muslim hat. I'm going to argue that it's only when your mic starts talking and when all these inanimate well, well, objects start talking. Well, you talking. can't argue for the sake of Muslims. I would never argue for the sake of Hindus. I'm, I'm asking you. Steel really manning. So I'm steel asking manning. you the question. So steel manning? Steel manning is when you make a position stronger than what it is. In, in, in discourse and public debate, yeah. if you steel man your opponent's argument, you actually make it stronger. Okay. Like, so it, it's like you come on their side and you actually make it a stronger argument. Okay. But my question to you is, right, is that you, you've admitted that you would be willing to fulfill this if at a I moment's notice. I was in Palestine, yes. If I right? was in Palestine and they're trying to kill me, yes. So but here, where the, the Jews are not trying to fight me, I wouldn't touch them. I wouldn't go to them. But, but the point is, you, you don't, don't understand. So, no, the, 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 the question that I'm asking you. No, but the, that's my point. This if is I was, the brother, if I was in the Omar. Area, they try to Omar, kill me, answer, I answer my question. But here, they're not trying to kill Omar. me. Omar, so, that's not my question. That's not my question. Right? I agree the Hindus shouldn't be arguing for Islam. Let the Muslim argue for Islam. I'll debate with you about Hinduism if you want. Sure, sure. Go on. After I've talk, finished talking to Omar and yeah, oh, yeah. Louis, yeah, yeah. right, then then I'll, I'll, I'll come and talk to you, right? Okay. So here's the thing. You've already admitted that that you would be willing to fulfill this at a moment's notice. Yeah, if I was in Palestine, yeah. the right. So 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 this teaching, so this teaching is cultivating anti-Semitism in your heart. Because you need to be ready to kill a Jew at a moment's notice because you don't know when the signs of the hour will start. I do. Yeah, great. You Thank you for admitting that. Yeah. The major major sign. Sign. Exactly. yeah. If the minor signs are fulfilled and other major signs are fulfilled, yeah. then we have to fulfill this. It's a problem. Okay, I, I've asked you a question. You've answered it fairly. Now it's your turn. Ask the question. Awesome. Well, awesome. So, Bibles, whatever the, uh, the Bible teaches moral, right? Right. Um, I want to answer your question here. Is uh, killing babies uh, moral? And is, are, are, are babies born is, without sin? No, no, it, 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 it is, is. Yeah. Is. Are babies, is. killing babies is moral, yeah? It's, it's a moral. Right, so I'll answer Will, your question. Follow. You is it immoral or moral? He, he, I'm going to answer the question, yeah, brother. Okay. It's his question. Relax. Yeah, <laughs> so, so in answer to your question, no, uh, in in, in terms of in terms of war, in terms of war, killing babies sometimes becomes uh, not. It, it, it's still a moral evil, but it's the lesser of two evils in war. Okay. However, however. If, for instance, it was like abortion, which Islam permits and Christianity forbids, okay. then in this sense, killing a baby would be immoral. Okay. So Islam permits the abortion, okay. which is immoral. Whereas, 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 whereas in Christianity, whereas in Christianity, uh, abortion is immoral. However, in war, in war these normal rules are suspended because of the nature of war. Okay. Okay. So in other words, you can't conduct war okay. without, unfortunately, harming people yeah, that I don't want to be involved. I can understand if someone in war, a person in war, were yep. to you know, kill a baby accidentally, you know, that's normal. Yep. But whereas you're comparing abortion to, and I'm comp you're comparing abortion Sorry. to, you know, killing a baby. I'm going to compare Islamic abortion to you, uh, your God, Killing babies in Samuel 15:3. Right, we're doing question for question. Yeah. So yeah, you I, already jumped to Islam. So, I, I'm, uh, like, so, I, so I'm, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Do you know the passage in the Quran that says, "I will send against them, the Jews, 
until the day. Well, I did. Address, address, Literally address, answered your question. Okay, that was part of my question. Louis, address, Louis, Louis, sorry, one second. I, We're doing question for question. As Omar address, will testify, uh, 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 ask that in your next question. As Omar will testify, sense, as Omar will. Part of my question was. Louis, Louis. We're doing question for question. I understand. As Omar will testify, each question that you answer, I will then answer one of your questions. In the Quran, it teaches, Allah says, that I will send against the Jews those who will punish them until uh, the day of judgment. Right? But it also says in the Quran that the children cannot bear, no, no person bears the sins of another. Right? Now, why then, considering that Allah says no person can bear the sins of another, are the Jews being punished perpetually by Allah? Can you give me the verse? They're not getting punished. Okay, fair enough. They're not getting punished. One second, he, he wants the verse. Name five. Uh, what, the, wait, bear with us, I'm going to get you yeah. five. There's no five. Wait, but, but they're not getting pun punished currently though. Bear with us. They own all the banks right now. They own all the media. That's not, that's not punishment. Bear with us, I'm getting his verse for him. So it's in Surah, I think it, bear with us. Right, so to just contradict you, it says in the Quran, they are going to be punished. Yeah, but well not here. Right, here, listen, L listen, I'm going to read the verse to you. And remember, O Prophet, when your Lord declared that he would send against them others who would make them suffer terribly until the day of judgment indeed. Your Lord is swift in punishment, but he will certainly be all forgiving, most merciful. So the Quran is saying that all Jews are punished until the day of judgment. But your Quran also says that one generation can't bear the sins of another generation. That's a contradiction. Square it for me. Surah 7. Just read it off his phone. Surah, Surah 7, 1, 6, 7. And after this, I'm going to ask you a question about Samuel 53. Yeah, but I want you to answer my question. You didn't answer my question. I did. You just weren't so, listening. Because you went, I was going to go in more in depth to my question. So, so my, let me finish. So, no, because we're doing question for question. So you come back with a question. I wanted to talk about hadiths, you wanted to talk about Christianity. The fairest thing to do is question for question. Which means you get to ask one question about Christianity just as I ask one question about Islam. But my question to you is the Quran teaches that one generation can't be punished for the sins of another generation. But all Jews are punished until the end of time, according to the Quran. That's a contradiction, square it for me. Are you going to cover our faces here if you're going to post this, yeah? Oh, sorry? You're going to cover our faces. Yeah, guys, just make sure these people have asked to have their faces blurred. So please do blur their faces. Please do blur their faces. JC, blur their faces. Are you, are you both of them, it? both of them. Because I'd, I'd rather not, you, you don't post it. But if you're going to post it... Yeah, it's going to get posted, but I've asked them to blur it. Fair, fair I can't control them beyond yeah, that point. This is Tafsir, yeah? Yeah. First two verses. Tafsir, go on. Okay. I've referred to the first two punishments given up to the Israelites. Can I just attach this to you? Right, so we are talking about punishment. Yeah, punishment. Against yeah. who? The Jews, yeah. The okay. Jews. So we are talking about punishment against the Jews. And you have a problem with what? The, the punishment keep, well, 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 let's listen to your Tafsir. Firstly, Allah will keep sending up to the day of doom some individuals or, or groups or people who will punish them and bring disgrace to them. In fact, this is what has been happening to them up to this day. They have been dominated and just, is namely treated by others as been recorded by history. We may not be in doubt about their present government in a part of Palestine, as it is a common knowledge that the state of Israel, in fact, the part of was created by them, objected against the Muslim movement. Yeah, I don't see any problem with this. Like, like, explain it perfectly. No, it doesn't. And what? You've not heard my question. Listen to my question. The contradiction. The contradiction is that the Quran says that one per generation can't be punished for the, the, the sins of another generation. But Allah is punishing the Jews until the end of time and has done so from the 7th century. Right? That's a contradiction. Okay. Uh, what Explain the, it to me. What was the other That's verse? a good question, brother. I don't really know the answer to that. Yeah, okay. I'll be honest. And, and, I mean, I know we're, we're, like, it's up to you whether you permit this follow-up question. You can refuse to if you want. because no, I, I, I like the questions. Yeah, okay. So my follow-up question to you is, 
does the Quran state that if there are, if I could find a contradiction in it, the Quran's not true? Yeah, it says that. Yes. Right. Have I found a contradiction? Well, uh, I, don't I, really I don't really know. Yeah. Okay. We'll have to ask Something to think knows. about, right? I'll talk to I, anyone you want. I know but. it's not, but I'm gonna go ask. Now, hold on one second. You're asserting that it's not. I'm certain. Right. So you've now got to. So what? What? Here's what I want, Omar. At some point in the future, or Louis, I want you to come back and say. Here's why Allah is punishing the Jews in every generation. And I want to hear the Islamic answer. I'll probably go ask someone right now. If and then come back. Answer, I'll come back. Okay, I'm fair punishing, enough. Punishing it's the a good question. Fair enough. Enough. I've never heard this question before. It's a good question. Okay, so like your it. turn, Omar. Ask yeah, me a question no, about no, 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 Or your turn. Uh, I'll ask you about the morality of Samuel 15 free. Yep. Okay. This one this down, yeah. Yeah. All right, so in, 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 in response to Samuel 15 free. Yeah. So. I'm going to give you a full answer, full answer yeah. right, from beginning to end, so you yeah, hear on. my answer, right? M Muslims use this in their Dawah script, Dawah script yeah. because Christians point out the abominable actions of Muhammad that he performs in war, the ethnic cleansing that he does to the Banu Quraysh. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. That's a lie. I'm that's coming. A lie. I'm coming, I'm coming back to the Bible. Coming back to the Bible, right? So. In Samuel 15, 3, yeah. you have a description of what God commands in a particular time to a particular people. The Amalekites. Yeah. Right, the Amalekites. If you actually read Samuel 15, 16, 17, 18, yeah. the Amalekites are still there. Okay. They're not wiped out. God is rousing his people to war. And the reason why he's rousing them to destroy the Amalekites is because he knows that if the Amalekite nation uh, is allowed to survive in its survive, current form, the... they will go on to yeah. destroy Israel. Yeah. So God is cutting off a future path. Future He's path, stopping yeah. a future path because the Amakalites present a real threat okay. to what God wants to do in history. Okay. And so he destroys the nation so that what he wants to happen in history is fulfilled. And that results in God rousing them to this blood fury yeah. To destroy the nation of the Amakalites, but they don't actually destroy the nation of the Amakalites. They're still there, right? And and so, but this is a description, not a prescription. So, in other words, no Christian ever argues, right, that we should go out and start killing people and wiping them out entirely because of this passage. It's never been used that way. The way that Christians use this passage, and we have done since our earliest church fathers is to inspire okay is to inspire us clearly something's going off over there yeah. let's focus guys knowledge is more important than fighting right is to inspire us to fight against our own sin so the church fathers use this passage and say wage war on the vices in your life like Saul was commanded to wage war against the Amalekites. Okay, we're meant to imagine the vices in our life like the Amalekites, and we're called to destroy the vices in our life. That's how the about, church uses that passage. You guys, but in Christianity, you guys believe, right? You guys believe that babies we're are not... Doing question for question. Well, we have to, I have to uh, critique your uh, explanation. Though. Okay, you actually, you took a follow-up question, so I'll let yeah, you yeah, go ask a follow-up. Go on. Your explanation. Yeah, first. go on. Firstly, you guys believe that uh, uh, babies are not born of sin, correct? Okay, so I've just got to be clarifying because I don't know how you're using the word sin. So I'll... I'll generally, generally like, I'm, I'm, when it comes to applying to a verse... I'm literally going to ask... Yeah, go you've ahead. asked a follow-up question, I'm going to answer it. Yeah, go ahead. And then it's my turn. So Christians don't believe that children are guilty of personal sin. Okay. Right? We don't believe that, right? But what we do believe is that all of us are born with a sinful nature. Sinful a nature, nature that is corrupt and seeks itself rather than God. And you can see evidence of that from a child the moment they can communicate in any way. Yeah. They're entirely selfish creatures. And we are that way by nature. And that's why we don't seek out virtue naturally. We seek out, uh, except natural virtues, we don't seek, we, we are actually unable to have spiritual virtues except as by a gift of God. Yeah. Right? So I've answered your question in its totality. Now I want to ask yeah, you a question. I don't, I don't, I don't see it. You done? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, no worries, Omar. Because it was actually a really respectful conversation, and I, and I come here to have respectful conversations, I'd like to give you a gift, Omar. Have you got a Bible? Or a Gospel? Yeah, at home, actually. At your home. Okay, I want to give you something else then. Not a Bible. And you, do you have a Bible at home? I have an Arabic one. You have an Arabic one? You're an Arabic Christian? In KBK Muslim? I'm Muslim. Yeah. Born Muslim. With a name like Louis? No, it's not Louis, you said it wrong. Oh, right. Sorry, how is it pronounced? Loe. Loe. 
All right, I apologize. Okay. So let me give you a gift, guys. Because I do appreciate, I do appreciate intelligent conversations. Oh, I thought, I thought you gave me that book. <laughs> but it makes me really feel good. Thank you. Where are you from, bro? She, he's already got a Bible. He's already got a Bible. Country. This country. Yeah. I'm Christian now. I'm gonna be Christian. No background, like, like background. Uh, I'm from Iran. Iran. Yeah, Iran. But the thing is, go on, bro. With, uh, with all due respect, I don't, I don't see how your explanation. My mom and dad. Uh, for me, your explanation doesn't suffice. Because at the end of the day, you conclude that these babies are not born with personal sin, so they're sinless uh, ultimately. In that moment, so for your, for God to kill them and not even, not even to wipe them out in a, you know, painless way. There you go. There you go. A little bookmark. Not even to wipe them out in a painless way. Right. The description of the. The death, but you want the, the way they're going to be killed, is already gruesome enough. Then, and then you should, if you're going to condemn that, you should be consistent and condemn Muhammad for, no, no, for you wiping out the banner of Quraysh. No, right. Well, one second. We we do it, if we're still talking, we're doing question for question. I've got a question for you. I want to go into this and I'm go because I, I'm still, I still don't, you know. No, 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 no. If we're going, if we're going to do this conversation, because I approached you, we wanted to talk about hadith. Yeah. New guys wanted to flip and talk about Christianity, yeah, so I agreed. Time, I agreed. I agreed to question for question. Yeah, yeah, the thing is, you're saying that you're saying that my answer isn't satisfying. Yeah. I'm just going to point out that you guys couldn't even answer you're my question. Layman, that's why you came to. Well, you're not even doing this. Right, you? right. The, 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 we're doing question for question. So let me ask you a question. So let me. How many times I've debated in my life? Never. Exactly. We're right. like, debate. These aren't trick questions, though, bro. These aren't this. These aren't trick questions. So I'm well, thank you. So, so if we're going to do another question, let me ask you a question. No, 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 no. I mean, if you don't want to go right. into the, if you don't want to go into the explanation, I'm only agreeing to question for question. Yeah, then yeah, I'm not. I'm so you take a question and then I'll answer your question. Yeah, I wanted to go into your explanation, but if you don't want to do that, it's okay. Then I'll tell you what. If you want to communicate with me on another time, another day, I'll give you my card. Get no, in touch. A, if you're here next week, I'll come. Yeah, here. Get in touch with me. I'll, I'll talk to yeah, you more about no it. Right. Same with you. Thank you, brother. All right, you look after. I want to hear that answer. Yep, if I get it, I'll come to you. Brilliant. Know, All right, you look after yourself. Well, well, God bless. The, the God bless. The, bring him. I'll debate it. Bring him over. I'll debate him. Bring him. Bring him over. I'll, I'll, I'll bring him over and I'll debate him. They won't. They won't debate me. They won't debate me.